Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Indai RN, your nurse in charge. And on this video, we are going to talk about the disaster nursing and emergency preparedness. And before we're going to start, please don't forget to click like, comment, and subscribe on my channel, especially if you are new. If you want to check some nursing videos that can help you during your nursing examinations, you can check my playlist or you can check the other videos that I have on this channel. In the NCLEX and other nursing examinations, you will be facing questions for emergency and disaster. So I have a question for you. Are you prepared? Despite of your upcoming examinations, do you know how to respond during disaster? And do you know what are your roles and responsibilities during disaster management? I'm going to teach you how are you going to respond during emergency and disaster. You can also check the other concepts for emergency and disaster on this channel. First is, let's discuss what is disaster. Disaster is a serious disruption of the functioning of the community due to hazardous events. This can be human-made or natural event that can cause destruction and devastation that cannot be alleviated without disaster assistance. So, we have two categories, that's natural and man-made. Here in the natural, we can have the geophysical, hydrological, hematological, meteorological, and biological. This can be communicable diseases, cyclones, droughts, earthquakes, floods, forest fires, hailstorms, hurricanes, landslides, mudslides, tidal waves, tornadoes, or even volcanic eruptions. Meanwhile, here in the man-made, this can be war, industrial accidents, famine, or transport crutches. These can be dam failure resulting to flooding, hazardous substances accidents like pollution, chemical spills, or toxic gas leaks. Or it can be accidents involving the release of radioactive material, or it can be resource shortage like food, water, electricity, and it can be a structural collapse like fire or explosions. Another example for the man-made is a terrorist attacks such bombing, riots, and bioterrorism, or even mass transportation accidents. So, disaster can be natural or even man-made. That can cause a destruction and devastation that cannot be alleviated without assistance. However, some of those types of disaster can be natural or man-made like bioterrorism. So, my question is, are you ready? Are you prepared? This time, let's discuss on how are you going to be ready, set, safe. Let's discuss the two major types of disaster that can be internal or external. Here in the internal, that happens inside the facility. It occurs within the healthcare agency, whereas the external occurs outside the facility or it can happen outside the healthcare agency. An example here in the internal facility is that healthcare agency fire or a structural collapse or even radiation spill. Meanwhile, here in the external, the example can be mass transit accident that could send hundreds of victims to the emergency department. So always remember if it's internal that happens just inside your facility and the external that happens outside the facility. In these two settings, your responsibility as a nurse is vital and you need to know the emergency response plan on how are you going to act and how are you going to manage this kind of disaster. What is emergency response plan? That is a formal plan of actions for coordinating the response of the healthcare agency staff in the event of disaster in the healthcare agency. Meaning to say, this is the plan that you are going to use when you are going to respond during disaster. And it's vital within the management, especially in the emergency room or emergency department, even in an institution. During this kind of emergency, disaster often occur with little or no warning. So, as I've mentioned earlier, as a nurse, you need to be prepared, especially for your resources. Because most of the time, in an emergency situation, you are being challenged by resources. In order for the management or administration to declare mass casualty or multi-casualty. Here in the mass casualty, there is an increase 
increased number of casualties or number of victims coming into you. However, you have a decreased number of resources. Meaning to say, you just need to declare mass casualty if the victims you have right now is greater than the number of manpower, number of resources that you currently have, okay? So it's just a mass casualty if, for example, you are alone and the number of victims you have is 50, okay? Meanwhile, in multi-casualties, we have limited casualties and we have a manageable resources. Meaning to say, you can still manage the situation. Here in mass casualties, in determining the casualty type, you know how to respond. You know what are those kind of management or treatment that you are going to give to your patient, okay? And you know how to triage your patient by just determining the type of casualty that you currently have. We are going to discuss the differences of mass casualty from the multi-casualty on the next video. So don't forget to check out on that video. During disaster, your role as a nurse, as I've mentioned earlier, is vital. And your role must to know your responsibilities and roles before the disaster that is according to your hospital policies. Because by this way, you know how to respond and you know when to respond, especially during crisis, disaster, catastrophe, or even during emergency. So there are important things to consider as a nurse during your preparation. That is, PAT or preparedness, awareness of the disaster plan, and training skills. What do we mean by preparedness? You need to be prepared personally and professionally. You need to make sure that you have emergency plans and supply. You need to prepare the emergency room, your emergency crash car. You need to plan for a meeting with your team. You need to identify where to go if an evacuation is necessary. You need to determine when and how to turn off water gas and electricity and main switches also you need to locate the safe spot in your home or in your unit and you need to be prepared with your medical supplies in your unit if you are in the hospital and if you are in the community you need to be prepared for this following supplies like first aid kits clothing blanket adequate supply of prescription of medications battery operated radio flashlight and batteries and others Meanwhile, in the awareness of disaster plan, you need to be aware of the disaster plan at the place of your employment and even in the community. Here in the awareness of disaster plan, you need to be aware also of your risk management. How does the management or how does the administration solve this kind of disaster issue? If you are one of the leaders, you need to be aware on how are they doing the on-call list for your staff nurses, something like that, okay? And training skills. That means that you need to maintain a certification of disaster training and even in cardiopulmonary resuscitation that can be BLS, ACLS, ATLS, and others. So all in, you need to be prepared personally and professionally during emergency and disaster in order for you on how are you going to solve some issues during emergency care, okay? Usually, in a healthcare agency setting, if a disaster occurs, the agency disaster preparedness plan or the emergency response is activated immediately and the nurse responds by following the directions identified in the plan. Meanwhile, in the community setting, if a nurse is the first responder to a disaster, the nurse cares for the victim by attending to that victim who are life-threatening problems first. When rescue workers arrive at the scene, immediate plan for triage should begin and i am going to discuss how does triaging works during emergency and disaster on the next videos another nclex hint in the event of disaster activate the emergency response plan immediately so i guess that's all for emergency nursing and emergency preparedness if you guys need some help in nursing examinations please don't forget to check the other videos that i have on this channel because they might help you so thank you so much guys for watching. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and share this video to your friends. See you on my next video. Bye!